The postmortem is finally over. Uh, the postmortem that was conducted on the body of the noted gangster turned politician Mukhtar Ansari, who lost his life uh, because of a cardiac arrest. Uh, the body will now be handed over to the family very shortly. That's the latest that we're getting right now. And elaborate security arrangements are already in place. As Aman was just telling us, he does uh, wield a lot of influence in the adjoining areas of Ghazipur and Varanasi district as well. Anshul joins us now for the very latest. Anshul, tell us a little bit more. Uh, we've just broken the news that the post-mortem is over. Uh, when will the body be handed over to the family? Uh, so yes, uh, what we have been told at this point in time that the postmortem has finally come to an end. Post that, the final paperwork is underway. We can expect that within the next half an hour to one hour, the body will finally be handed over uh, to the family. Uh, to, uh, to the family. So yes, uh, at this point, the uh, request that was given by the uh, son of uh, of. All right, we'll try and establish contact with Anshul. We're just having an issue there with the audio. Aman is uh, also with us. Aman, so uh, that's what we're getting to hear, that uh, the post-mortem is done. It will take some time before it's revealed the cause of his death. But I'm sure there would be an elaborate security arrangement that must have been put in place. What are you hearing, given the fact that, you know, he enjoys a lot of support, uh, wields a lot of influence uh, in, in uh, Ghazipur, in Mao, and even in uh, Varanasi as well? Yes, yes, absolutely. The government is on its toes on this one and because it's also the Ramzan month, today is Friday as well, the Juma day, so Juma prayers are going to happen in the evening. So uh, the police is on its toes, all arrangements, security arrangements are in place. The body will be taken to the ancestral graveyard of the Ansari family. Uh, so, uh, body is being handed over. The postmortem report of Antika may take some time. It may come today, it may come even tomorrow because it's a board of uh, doctors, panel of doctors which has done the postmortem. So, obviously, the government wants to be doubly sure uh, about the report because if some, if it is not a natural death and as the family is alleging he's been slow poisoned, uh, that could be revealed in the autopsy report if it is so. So, the government would take its next step very, very carefully because this is a, also a communally sensitive area. Yes. They don't want any tensions uh, to flare up here. Uh, so, obviously, they will be taking all precautions. The body will be handed over to the family. His uh, elder son, who is in fact in jail, has not got that permission to attend uh, uh, the last rites. But his uh, younger son, who is outside jail, will be there. His mother, uh, Mukhtar Ansari's wife, is also not there. She is in fact also absconding for a number of months now because the police has treated her also as a criminal in certain land grab cases. And she is also not there. She has been absconding. So the family of Mukhtar Ansari also in a bit of a disarray since the family leader, the elder in, who was in jail since 2005, has passed away.